we finally got a new map in ranked in Halo. Yes! Yes! It's been a long time. I'm still waiting on Plaza. I'm not sure what's going on with that. In the meantime, though, this is Starbird. I checked this out back in February. It's gotten an upgrade since. It's basically a recreation of midship designed in Forge by Pone Jones. It's an incredible map. I'm going to give you guys a run through today. We're going to talk about the sandbox, some skill jumps, and some rotations. I think you need to know to get the most out of your experience playing here. This map definitely got a glow up since I was here last. He's brightened the colors. It's midship and layout, so it's super simple, especially if you want to know callouts. I mean, you got blue base and red base. You got top blue and bottom blue or basement. You've got pink side and you got car side. You can probably call this car three, car two, car one, and then P3, P2, P1. Top mid, bottom mid. You're basically done, right? In between that, you got the streets. You can call these streets and things will get more specific as you go, but I think just knowing this will kind of hold you over. For the weapons on the map, you can tell the Pone Jones is using midship as inspiration, but in UNSC fashion. And I'm curious to hear what you think of it. We got a bandit top base. Down bottom base, we have a sidekick. On the way to pink, we've got plasma nades. And then up on P2, we got a commando. This used to be a stalker or a shock rifle. Commando, of course, not really a power weapon, so it definitely changes how the map plays, and I'm curious to hear what you think of it. Midship typically doesn't really have a sniper-type power weapon, right? So I kind of get it. It has a power-up instead, right? You got an OS up on top mid instead of a camo, I guess. It used to be bottom mid, but now we get shocks bottom mid instead here. We've got a repulse P1. That's kind of a power weapon to keep in mind. And then on car side, you got a shroud. Up top, what a great map to use a shroud screen. In my opinion, there's so much open space, a lot you can do with this. Car one, you've got a plasma pistol, which is, I guess, sort of a power weapon to keep in mind, depending on how you use it. But that basically sums it up. I think the only thing this map is missing in comparison to past like iterations would be a sword. Is infinite sword completely chalked in terms of balance? I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Is there any room for a sword on a map like this? Or would you like to see a stalker? Or a shock, a sniper on the map instead. Those are the only kind of pain points, I think. The social version of the map does have a sword, but in ranked, this is what we get. And it is kind of nice to have a map that's just focused on BR versus BR combat. All right, the bases. There's not too much going on here, mostly open space, but of course, this is crouch jump height. You might not know you can actually jump off this, though. It's got collision. It's useful if you jump off this one to skip your clamber over this ledge. So something to keep in mind. It also sets you up for a curb slide to rotate out the window. Pretty cool. I hope this doesn't get patched, Pone Jones, if you're watching, but uh, you can actually jump on this wall. It's tricky. If you jump towards the corner of the wall here, you can jump on it and shimmy around it and sit like this. If you go any farther, you're gonna slide off automatically. I'd say there's adequate risk to uh, offset the reward personally, but it works on both sides of the base on both sides of the map. So maybe keep it in mind. At the front of the base or window, I like what he's done with the place here. He's flattened this out and extended it out front of the base. You can walk out. You can shimmy along the edges here, sit in the outside of this if you like. This whole area is just more accessible, just smoother to navigate. Now you can crouch jump from both sides. You can slide off to get across here without falling all the way down, right? Slide off to connect it and then crouch jump back up. And if you have good movement and you time a late jump, you can actually reach around and clamber this edge. It's tricky. You want a late jump off that window ledge just so you don't bump your head on the roof above and you can get up with a sneaky jump here. Pretty nice. If you want a fancier way to get to the same window, just jump on this box, sprint, time a curb slide, jump, and you can clamber the window from the other side. One of my favorite jumps on the map. I recommend you give this one a shot. You could do it on both sides of the map. Time a curb slide, jump, and uh, you'll reach a clamber at the window. From underneath the base, you've also got this wall that you can jump on and jump off of. Showed this in my last video. It works on both sides. Just jump on the ledge on the wall here. I try to hold into the wall to make sure I'm at the highest point I can be. And then I just jump off and, and clamber the edge above. Pretty straightforward. Navigating this area, there's a couple little things to know. You can jump off this little object on the side. You can jump off this and then jump to this ledge up above. Obviously, you're vulnerable to a lot of different sight lines here. But just good to know that you can kind of navigate this area with some tricky movement. This little ledge here, you can see through and shoot through as well. I don't know if anybody would ever 
use this to make a play. My trick is to hold crouch and then let go of crouch and try to time the shot through it. And you can technically like peek somebody. I don't know. If you had a sniper and you landed a snipe through this, that would be badass. There is one main way to get up to P3. You jump off this box, clamber this ledge, and then clamber again, and you're up there. He actually added this light here recently. You can like jump, clamber it, and then jump off it. Or if you're really slick with your movement, it is actually possible to not clamber and jump to it and sort of land on it in a crouch position. And then technically you can jump backwards up to P3 and skip your clamber on the way. They're pretty tricky and pretty risky, right? When you're up on P3, you got no cover. You're vulnerable to a lot of different sight lines. If you're at the front of pink, he's made this clamber height now, so you can just simply jump clamber, crouch jump up top of it, and then jump to this ledge, crouch jump to P3 this way. So some pretty convenient movement if you're coming from the top here, and you can do it all backwards. You just have to remember where the light is, which it's, it's kind of out diagonal on the left, jump out backwards and make sure you hold crouch just in case you hit it backwards but you can navigate all the way to p3 without even really looking at it which is good to know if you don't want to clamber this ledge you can always sprint jump from the box you're a little bit more vulnerable doing this but that's one way to skip the clamber works on both sides down low you also have a repulse here you can pick that up and jump repulse up top check out the view before you go though right there's like a whole separate map back here which is pretty wild so shout out to uh to pone jones for putting that together repulse up nice curb slide ledge here too to get out front this os platform is clamber height only way you're going to skip this clamber is if you jump off one of these panels up the top mid just be wary of how vulnerable it is here i like that he's got the shroud here though right on top car you could shroud the os platform just aim better and uh and then get up there that way on car side, if you want to get up around the outside, jump up to this ledge on the outside. You got to kind of jump around if you want to get up to the bridge and skip your clamber there. So just something to keep in mind. This is clamber height now. So you can clamber up and then crouch jump to get up top. You can then sprint, jump, clamber this ledge up above. This is tricky, but it is actually possible to sit inside here too. I'm not sure what you do with it though. I think you can shimmy all the way around. Yes, you can. So now we got a spot, right? I think this is pretty cool because you are so exposed when you do this. And I don't know, like maybe you can shimmy facing backwards. I don't know. Like you got to be pretty fancy with your movement to try to pull something off here. I'm jumping from a crouch position to keep my altitude low. So I wedge myself in between that area. Maybe there's a repulse strat here. I don't know, but look at the floor. Hit jump repulse together at the same time for the highest jump. And then you can actually sit on this. Why? I don't know yet. You know, let's see if you can make a sick play with it, right? You're very exposed when you do it. You can stand on the other side as well. Now that we're here, we'll call this car two. I'd say this is car three, by the way. You can jump to this window, car three, in a variety of ways, just off these little panels on the wall. Of course, you got this little object here. You can jump up to, jump off of, I guess, to get up here. And then don't forget about this, right? These are two important crouch jumps you can use to get around here. Remember that trick that we did on the other side? It's actually possible to wedge yourself in here too. I... Good luck figuring out a way to use that in game, but it's it's doable also. A bottom and top mid, the most open areas of the map. There's not too much to know, but if you want to just kind of get around here more seamlessly, make sure you're jumping off these arms, right? You can jump off the top part right here to get around. Just skipping your clamber to get off out of this uh, situation if you're caught in a bad spot. I like how he's adjusted this area as well. Top mid, you can now jump from top mid straight to a base. So it might be convenient, especially in CTF. As far as skill jumps, that's about everything you need to know. When it comes to rotations, though, with a map that's this open, you're going to want to know how to rotate quickly in the right situation. So just some stuff to keep in mind. Drop sliding is a good way to get out of the base down this staircase and uh, through to pink or car side. To do this, you want to sprint, jump, and hold crouch and land on the bottom of the ramp. The lower you land on the ramp, the farther you're going to go, the better and more effective this slide is going to be. And it's a good one to keep in mind because you got a lot of cover when you do it. There aren't too many other ways to uh, to kind of navigate this area. You can slide off this, right? If you land on this, sprint curb slide off it with good timing. You can get across. If you want to go to P1, you can sprint up this and then create a curb slide off the base of the ramp and slide off it to go quickly that way. Obviously, this is very convenient for going the other direction, right? I line up with the edge. Edge line up curb slides. The fastest way to get around, right? Land on the edge, sprint off on an angle. Time slide before you hit the ground, you can launch towards the base and you can apply that inside the base as well. This is one of the most powerful ways to curb slide on the map, I think, is learning how to do this one, especially on both sides to get out the window. This slide right here, 
is uh, one of my favorites on the map. Very tricky and vulnerable too. It sends you straight out to the front of the map. You're exposed to like every sight line at once. But in CTF, in the right situation, I guarantee there's some pretty sweet flag rotations you can hit if you can get this down. You got to land on the edge and line it up. Sprint, curb slide off with good timing. You jet all the way to pink side and it works on both sides of the map. Depending on how you enter the base, you want to try to apply different types of rotations, right? Like I land on the edge and I curb slide off on an angle if I'm coming from this side, but I can't do that conveniently from the other side because this ledge is in the way. So instead, and this, this is the opposite on the blue base, you want to kind of keep this in the back of your mind. You can land on this box and then sprint slide off the boxes instead here. Something you can do is just kind of slide out wide and then sprint slide like that and then cross the base really quickly. So some convenient ways, ways you can traverse this area. You've got this box here too. If you're heading to car side, this will be the main way that you rotate across, right? Time a curb slide to get across, but it works both ways. I recommend practicing this one because you're going to want to be able to navigate this area quickly. You've got this box here as well. What's cool about it, this one at least, is you could actually stand on this little ledge below it and kind of block a sight line a little bit as you crouch. And you can turn off and curb slide off it as well to still get the rotation. This is going to take some time and practice to get down might be worth it though to uh to grind out you can edge line up to get a curb slide off the edge here too it's tricky you're gonna have to have some pretty efficient movement and then you're just you're vulnerable the whole time right when you're practicing this stuff you got to work on reticle placement you have to anticipate what's happening in the game or you're just gonna die for free so it's all stuff to keep in mind and then of course connecting to blue base it's the same process here. You just sprint, time the slide off. This one, launch straight in the blue. Depending on how you hit these ledges, you can go different ways, right? Like, you got to find timing for this too, because obviously you're exposed for a lot of this, but you can land on the edge and then jet out to car one instead of going up the ramp to car two while you're on car one. You can grab the plasma pistol, sprint, slide off the platform straight into the lift, right? So some really convenient movement if you've got this down. You can edge line up off the box, here too, shoot yourself out. Why you're doing it, I'm not sure, right? It's just kind of understanding what's possible. Like, this is a good way to rotate from here to here. Got a lot of options down this ramp. Whether you're going down or up the ramp, you can line up slides both directions. A lot you can practice depending on what you want to work on. Got a box down here too. It'll send you straight up and line up on the edge of this one. A lot of fancy ways to get around the map. One of the best ways to get the center map from this staircase slide off this don't miss it or you'll die up the top car here you've got these panels you can slide off these still it's very tricky it has to be like a perfect edge lineup but it'll jet you straight into pink you're giving up reticle placement to set it up so i don't really recommend you go for it very often if ever but if you can find a way to incorporate it very powerful if you're going to slide off these shoulders Old crouch, jump from a crouch position, line it up on the edge, slide as early as possible to get that rotation out to OS or out to safety, right? Instead of kind of waiting until you sprint all the way to the end of it and timing the slide, there's a lot of little things you can do for efficiency. You can also use it to launch straight to the base. You can just jump to the base now, but, you know, having a curb slide rotation, if you're cracked enough, you know, that might be convenient. And that covers it. That's starboard and just about everything I think you need to know. I'm a big fan of the map. I have yet to really grind it in ranked matchmaking, but I see this as a W. I hope we see more maps just like this enter ranked. I know we got Plaza on the way as well. There's some other fancy movement you can do on this map that I didn't show off, especially if you apply the repulsor plus the curb slide. I'm sure there's some fancy flag runs. There's also some sneaky spots that I purposely didn't show. I want you guys to find this stuff yourself. I don't want to spoil it. I also don't want it to get patched right away so have some fun see what you can find and see if you can make a big play maybe tag me on twitter but that's it for the video guys if you like the map let me know if there's anything else you want to see in ranked matchmaking any other ideas you've got because i know we got a lot of maps kind of sitting in forge that would be perfect for the playlist let me know in the comments below if you want similar videos like this right here this is the way